neurological assessment for the stroke patient. Whenever you assess a stroke patient, you look for different signs and symptoms of which you differentiate which type of stroke they have, like which artery is blocked. It may be a middle cerebral artery, interior, posterior cerebral artery. In this, I am going to discuss the MCA. Like mostly a colluded artery is a middle cerebral artery which is mostly affected. So middle cerebral artery supplies your frontal lobe, lateral part, your temporal lobe and basically the upper right lobe. Okay. There are different signs and symptoms which are associated with the MCA which can differentiate right and left. So there are uh, different signs and symptoms for the right MCA and the left MCA. First one is right MCA. So right MCA basically supplies your frontal, tem lateral tempora and parietal lobe. So first one, autotopic gnosia. Autotopic gnosia is the lack of ability to different localize body parts. Like a person don't have knowledge about their own body part. Like they can't point out their body part. Like if you ask a patient to point their hand, they can't. They will point out something in the surrounding. So they lack this ability. One is autotopic gnosia. Other is a somatotopic gnosia. Like in somatotopic gnosia, a patient can't recognize or orientate other body parts. But in autotopic gnosia, autotopic gnosia means one's own self. A patient cannot recognize his own body parts. Okay, next one is Anosognosia. Anosognosia is a lack of awareness of oneself. Like a patient don't accept the condition. Like they like they don't accept, accept their condition. They are unaware about the severity of a condition. Like they don't think that they are ill. Like they don't know that they need any type of treatment. So they are totally unaware. Like mainly they are concerned with leg pain. You are unaware about your health. It's mainly concerned about your frontal lobe. Perception of oneself is lost. Another is bilateral hemianopsia. Loss of vision in half of your visual field. Bilateral means on both sides. And hemianopsia. In this, mainly a peripheral vision. Peripheral vision of both the sides are lost, like a temporal vision. Anything. In your temporal field will not be visible to a person with a bilateral tem bilateral hemianopsia. Like your outer half vision is lost, you can't see the peripheral. Next is homonymous hemianopsia. A person sees only one side of a vision field. Like what happened in a healthy individual? A left side of a brain possesses visual for the right side for both the eyes and right side of a brain possesses visual information for the left side of both the eyes. So when your left side of a brain is affected, the right side is lost. And same happened with the right side of a brain. When your right side of a brain is affected, your left vision is lost of both the eyes. So homonomous hemianopsia, you see the half of a vision is lost. Next is dyspraxia. Dyspraxia or coordination disturbance like in this a motor planning is disturbed like balance, movement, hand hand and eye coordination, writing difficulties and these are difficulties in a performing a task. So basically a motor planning, a motor component, a motor task component is disturbed. To perform anything you need a coordination and in white MCA this coordination is lost basically a motor component next is stereognosis stereognosis inability to recognize shape of a solid object like in this a person with a stroke cannot recognize the shape of an object like if the eyes are closed and you give something in the hand like if you give a mobile a patient cannot recognize that it is a mobile or is there something round shape or is something liquid like he's un he cannot recognize the shape of a solid object. 
another is diagnosis. Diagnosis inability to recognize the weight of objects. Like in this, a patient cannot differentiate between a low and a high weight of objects. Another is dysarthria, speech disorder. Like this is concerned with the muscles which produce the speech. The muscles which produce they are paralyzed, they are affected, right, and they are damaged. So as a result, a person with a stroke will produce the slurred speech. Like there is a damage to the nervous system which affects your tongue, your voice box, that is the larynx. So as a result, slurred speech will be produced. Another is anomia. Anomia, basically anomia is a type of aphasia. In this, there is a deficit of expressive language. Like individuals with anomia can't express the word. Like they are, can uh, demonstrate the object to the hands, but they cannot express the word. A another is agraphia. Loss of ability to write. Can't communicate through writing. Why? So, patients with the agraphia, they can't com communicate through writing. Like if you tell them to draw something, they can't do that. So they cannot communicate to write something. And it's basically they have two parts. One is central agraphia, one is peripheral agraphia. So in central agraphia, they mainly involve the language issues. Like they have a communication problem, right? And in peripheral uh, agraphia, they have a motor issues. Like they have problem there with their motor skills they have difficulty associated with the movements with the writing central with your language peripheral with your motor skills so we can call central aphasia as uh, aphasic aphasia and we can see peripheral aphasia as a non-aphasic aphasia next is left mca so left mca Supplies to an interior temporal area, frontal lobe, which is a lateral area, and uparital lobe. What happens in the left MCA is hemiparesis. Hemiparesis is the weakness of one side of a body. So there is inability to move one side of a body, like which leads to difficulty in a walking. A person with hemiparesis can't grasp and hold the objects, they become the fatty easily. So when your left side of our brain is affected, so right side weakness occur, right? Another is hemianesthesia, loss of sensation in half side of a body. In this case, there is a loss of sensation in lateral half of the body. When your left side of a brain is damaged, the loss of sensation will occur in the opposite lateral half of the body. Next is Broca's aphasia, trouble speaking fluently. Broca's aphasia is also known as expressive aphasia. Like there is difficulty in producing sentences. Like they can't speak at a rate. Like they cannot speak in a flow. So comprehension is preserved. They can understand the speech as well. But when your left hemisphere is damaged, like in left hemisphere, they are the center for the language and the speech. So when left side of a hemisphere is damaged, a person, the, a person cannot speak fluently. Comprehension is preserved, but they cannot produce the sentences. Another is a vernix aphasia. Vernix aphasia is a comprehension deficit, which is opposite to the Broca's aphasia. What happens in a vernix aphasia? They can produce correct sentences. They can speak fluently, but whatever they speak, that don't make a sense. Like that part of our brain is damaged, which is responsible for processing words, which is uh, like which is responsible for processing your language. That part of our brain is damaged. So comprehension it is of whatever they speak that is irrelevant, that does not make any sense. Another is global aphasia. What happens in a global aphasia, like they can only say few words. A person with a global aphasia can't communicate properly. They have a communication problem, like they can write 
और स्पीक बट क्या रिलेटेड कान दी के नॉट स्पीक एंड आ फ्लुएंट मैनर दे कैन स्पीक बट जस्ट ओनली आ फ्यू वर्ड्स लाइक इन द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द हेमोस्फेयर इज एक्सपेक्टेड इट कंट्रोल्स ऑल द लैंग्वेज इंक्लूडिंग अ वर्कर्स एंड अ वन नेक्स एरिया बट वैन दी बोर्ड आर एफेक्टेड सो वाट हैपन्स लाइक दी कैन पर्सन विद द ग्लोबल हेडफाइस कान कम्युनिकेट प्रॉपरली